Okay, we're back on the Venturis. I was looking for the groove cut through here, but that's on the M88 carburetors only. The, these ones have a big hole in the side right here for venting purposes. See it lines up with that. Must have been going around the whole thing. The M88, they don't have this hole here because when they go through a river, you don't want that to go in your carburetor or flood it. <laughs> so they have a vent. They cut a groove right through here and they get venting through the intake air horn here because the car the air cleaner goes to that big well bath air cleaner on the side oh yeah, yeah. <coughs> so they can go up to they can be in this much water without getting any water can't see shit when you like that they can be about 18 inches of water on a 45 without flooding the bike out any part of the bike it's all sealed so these ones yeah you hit you suck a uh, water and that'll true all that be a problem Okay, so we're going to switch over to the bigger Venturi. This should be an inch and an eighth. This was an inch and a sixteenth originally. So, uh, in case you don't know which way to put it in, this hole here goes in here. So if it goes in this way here, you got to make sure it doesn't get in the way your throttle is. If you stick it in this direction like this here, it goes in this way here. You can see how it sticks past the edge of the carburetor. So that means it has to go in this direction. We get you right up next to the throttle disc. So you've got to be careful when you do that. So do you have to beat this thing in there or is it going to go in loose? <laughs> it's supposed to slide, isn't it? No, uh, they're supposed to be tight. Not to bent that loose? This one slides. Makes it easier. All right. What are you filming? You? I think you're filming over here. Don't you? You're not filming my foot? No. That's what it looks like you're doing. <coughs> What's that? Oh, Loctite. Purple crap. That's for, um, if you can read it anymore, it says for under quarter inch screws. What size is that? Under quarter inch. That's it. Don't use red. Does it come out? The screw will break before it comes out. <laughs> if it doesn't strip out by over tightening it, it should be good. So now we have a lock washer. We over torque it and we have lock tight. <clears throat> so maybe with all three of those, it won't come loose. With any luck. Okay, it still works. So see a transfer slot there? See the little hole? And as soon as you open it up, transfer slot opens up, lets more fuel in, fattens it up. And as you go a little bit further open, it gets more and more fuel in it. So it fattens it up just off of idle. So it eliminates that off idle hesitation. That's what that does. If you lengthen the slot a little bit further, it makes it for bigger cans and works better. But if you have to have it way open on your throttle disc, the slot's open all the way, it doesn't run for squat. It doesn't get richer as you open it. It'll be a bog off idle. In that case, you go in here and you put a little hole in your disc to let more air through it, so you can close the valve back up. That works correctly. Or you get one that has more looseness than the butterfly, one that's more worn out. <laughs> worn out. <laughs> yeah. That works too. <laughs> Multiple ways of doing things around here. Okay, where's your big plug at? I don't see it. Where's all your parts? So I'm looking for something about that size. I keep going back to the same thing, but that's that's a caliper. That's not the part we're looking for. There's a big plug. There it is. 
see float bowl is this one. This is your idle transfer slot plug. Comes right here. So this side is just sealed by the gasket. No, it's not a plug. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, I see that. Yeah. See how the screwdriver doesn't fit in there? Yeah. It's too damn big. Can't use that one. This one's been specially ground around the circle. It goes in there. That's what you need. So, see all these plugs right here? Some of these you see, some you don't. So, the one that looks the worst, as you put in here. But if they're spread out too much, they won't go in the hole. Doesn't want to go in the hole. It's kind of stuck in there. <laughs> there goes. That one's too screwed up to go in the hole. What's the next one I got? Let's try this one. That appears to be the same problem. So that's the next one we can't use. Okay, what do we got left? Which one looks the best to you? I don't know. That one. Okay. So this one goes up here. It doesn't want to go in either. Yeah, that plug that plugs up the transfer of idle draw uh, idle passage plugs up the end of it. So now I only breathe through here. The gasket doesn't necessarily seal way out here on the outside edge. Mm -hmm. It could leak. That's why you need more than a gasket there. Okay, these over here. Plug up here. <clears throat> now usually there's a jet over here. And luckily you do not have a jet. Because the jet's usually way too big. So this is where your main jet would go if you had one. Well, either one of these two, it doesn't matter. Same thread. Go the same passage, do the same thing. And that's sitting in the gasoline. Yes. So, this carburetor has the big hole down here. See how big that hole is? The later carburetors have a little small hole there. If you have the small hole, you need a jet. Hmm. But you have to weld it up, make it smaller, or solder it up. The ones they used back in the day were way too big for the gas we use these days. So this has a nice big hole. Your needle has a nice blunt taper, which matches big hole. The small hole uses a long taper like this. So this has a coarse adjustment. This would be a fine adjustment. So this goes down in here and plugs up the big hole. Every click makes more of a change than a little small tip would be. But this is plenty adequate for what you need. I prefer that than having a stupid jet. Okay, so that all looks good. So now everything's all plugged up like it's supposed to be. Except for the one that's still open. Which one's still open? I don't even see another one. Okay, there's one. The one that goes down to orifices down here, remember? This is why you use the best one out here, because you can see this one. The other three you can't see. This one you can. There it goes.
tight. See how it doesn't look too bad? You put the nice screwed up one like these, it looks kind of crappy out there. It looks <laughs> <a bit interesting. laughs> But you can do it if you want. It's up to you. Alright. What else you want to put in? I don't know. I don't know. Choke? Yeah. More parts. You can do a choke, you can do that. But you gotta put this in before you put the choke in. It goes in there like that. These are a little bit harder to do. There's your spray nozzle that goes in. It goes through the uh, butter, through the uh, paturi. Like that. Oh. That's what holds it in. Where's your big spring? That, those are the springs that I had. Yeah, I know, but where's your big spring at? Big spring. Okay. Missing in action, right? I got some extra parts. Wow. That was a rusty piece of metal that was in the car when we took it apart. <laughs> they're always rusty. These are always missing and broken. So these go in here. It's filled in with the spring. That holds the venturi in. And the nut holds that in. Okay. But we need to open these up. We need more holes. This is your transfer, or not your transfer, this is your intermediate circuit here, your low speed circuit. So each of these are pretty lean all through the mid range. So this will fatten up and make it come in a little bit earlier too. So it makes it carburate better. So what I do is I put one more hole up in here, five holes instead of four. And then I see what size hole these are, and I go up to a little bigger sizes. I used to use like 59 or 62 for big hot rod motors. Then I started going down to 52 because modern gasoline is a lot leaner. It's more like kerosene, it doesn't want as much in there. If you're using racing gas, then you want to have bigger holes, but this crappy gas we have these days, it's, you want less of it. So these I'll put down like 40 or 52, depending on what you want to do on your bike. Now your muffler is stock in the back still? Yes. Okay, so we'll probably run a little bit leaner. Good guesstimate. So let's go see what you got. You know exactly what size hole this is, right? Mm-hmm, little. Little. That's a good size. It's at least that big. That's a 40. It's a 42. Getting close. That's forty-two thousands. These are one thousand increments. Ooh, we get real tight there. That's forty-three. I think that's it. Yep, forty-three. Okay, so we need a little bit bigger than forty-three. Next drill is forty-six. You go one thou at a time for three drills, and it goes up three thou for the next one. <laughs> okay, so we need to put a hole in this a little bit further up where it is. And we got to drill it too. And then we want to make sure we don't do this drill. Kind of need it.
Yeah. Where do you want that hole? About the same distance. You want everything, don't you? This is a little bit of a not quite very sharp center punch. That's the broken off one. Okay, let me go find a little bit finer tip. Maybe one that's not quite broken as much as that one is. damaged. <laughs> we'll use this prick punch but I got a sharp on it. I guess you have prick punch and center punch is. Center punch is usually close to 90 degrees. A prick punch is more like 60 or better. It's not the person using it. <laughs> About equal amount up. How's that? You like that spot? Mm hmm. If I got more. Mm hmm. No? Is that equal? Could be. A little over 150. Not quite. That's about 150. Yeah, that's a little over 150. Look how even that is. I it moved off center or something when I hit it. That was a lousy job. Where prick punches don't work the best. But it's what we have for today. Okay, ready to drill that? We should drill. Yeah. 
I probably should have centered this up before I did that, though. Looks better now. Okay, so we can do 46, 52, 55. 46 is too damn lean, so we're going to do 52. Which one's 52? This one. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one should be 52. I'm losing my mark. If in doubt, measure it. Looks like 50. That must be 52 then. Another trick you can do is you can drill this hole out through here a little bit bigger. That'll fatten things up a little bit too. Box of burrs out on the inside. This is 140. Next one up to 144. My whistle doesn't work very good. Okay, that's ready for installation. So now we get the, just to line up with the, where it needs to go. light pressure on it down here. That goes through. Kick it up. And we don't lose it. It's not rattling. It's a good sign. <laughs> Okay, now we need a choke. So it appears your choke was a little loose. A little worn. They don't make bushings for these. So you want this new one? Be nice, yeah. This one's made in Taiwan. Another you know, fine American made piece of tooling or stuff. <coughs> those nice chrome plated screws. You want those? You want those old grungy used ones? The uh, old grungy used ones are Harley. That's right. Is that any bigger? <laughs> Quarter inch of stock. And one tile under. Yep. That's a good one. 
Ooh, yours is piled half under on the good spot. It's right on the money right there though. Then it goes under size. Six style under. <laughs> I think that's why it's a little loose. What do you think? Could be. Okay, so that goes in there. Appears to be rotationally correct. Okay, we need a spring. I think these springs have two different part numbers, but they're the same damn thing. This one looks like it's a little taller. So we'll put that right there. See that sticks up a little above the surface? This one goes somewhere else. You know what that is? No, I have no idea. It goes in a carburetor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it goes on the carburetor. How's that? Where'd your little ball go? Used to be sitting right there. Right there, right by the. Oh, it fell off, huh? Look at that. Well, if you put that ball right there, you got a new place to hide it. So. You take this here, and you can use this to hold the ball. But you can press it, and you shove the shaft through it. See how easy that was? Wow. Now you gotta figure out where the hole goes here. You gotta put the hole in the screw in there. Oh, there's a hole in the shaft? Yes. Mm. See, so this goes through the shaft. Mm -hmm. Then it locks in. So you gotta rotate the shaft until you're in the right spot. You have to decide which side is correct. Is it this side or is it this side? I didn't know which one it goes in. You gotta be able to get the screws in. That too. When you open it up, you want the needle to work. The mechanism over here to work, the lever. See that goes up and down? Oh. If it was 180 out, it would be out here doing nothing. So that'd be your first clue it's wrong. <laughs> the next clue would have been that the uh, screw holes are flat, not like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I have seen those made wrong, though. Okay, so this screw does not want to go in that hole. So, is that because they made it wrong, or you got some buildup in your CAD? I think it's safe to say it's not going to fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Get a bigger screwdriver yet. It's already a little bit big to go in the slot. Oh, finally got tight. Probably doesn't need Loctite. No, that one was pretty good. Look at that. It works like a champ. Remember, you gotta put your Butterfinger Venturi in first, though. So you forget. Okay, well this is the correct butterfly. It says inch and a quarter on it. It has the big hole in it too. That's the big holes for? Let it run while it's choking? Well you got it shut off, it'll still run. And we still have the same issue. No lock washers. It came prepared. Okay, these threads match what's on those. I've had those be different too. Remember the camo screws that I wanted you to use. We're going to use the ones we want to use. Original equipment. Yeah. 
Erasers. Solder them in. And cut the shells in half. Be real thin. <clears throat> Don't even have screws in there. One time application. Solder that sucker in there. already you didn't even know that. <laughs> okay what's next I don't know float float ball float ball we got, oh we got all those holes got a bunch of other crap to put together yet we got a bunch of other holes I need all this stuff over here yet. I got all this stuff out here I didn't think I was gonna do with all this stuff I have no idea <clears throat> it goes in here somewhere Got lost. Okay, well, we're not using that now. There's our junk pile. We're not using that. We're not going to use these two little screws now either. Or that other. Other what? Throttle shaft. You mean this one? Mm -hmm. We can put two in there. Mm -hmm. Double not the that. jury. Okay, working our way through the system. Good. Okay. Be back in a minute. 